Fnatic versus Evil Geniuses, the elimination match between these two. But right now, I don't think EG mines too much, and they're going to make the go on mid. I think this is a pretty good move for them to make oh, yeah. with the haste. Highlight die. They're actually going to go for the charge onto the Ember Spear, but most of the damage is going to go onto Pine. That will be our first blood. With oh, the arrow landing on Excalibur, couldn't dodge it, and he's going to die as well underneath the Tier 1 Tower 2-0. For EG, all of a sudden, they are hammering this laning phase. And then we've started seeing more and more dual lane mids. And as a result, these four positions have not had the same opportunity as they had previously in this laning phase. Now it looks like DJ is going to be able to get a successful gank on the universe. He's staying on top of the move. The battery salt is going to be juked out. Like somebody in this position, somebody has to like be mid. And it's going to be Pilot Die. And if they gank him, that's whatever. Yeah. Value death. He's got to draw the creep wave off. Yes. That's very dangerous. Somebody's got to do Look it, though. Look at Fear. He's just running forward. All right, he's got the Nightmare. They got to kick the Nightmare <laughs> off. Good job, Pi. Good job. Managed to allow the arrow to be dodged. They're going to get a going to be in big trouble. They do have the Brain Sap plus the Macro Pi. This is not a good position for DJ to be in. They may get the kill on Fear, but it's going to cost Fnatic quite a bit. Ohio comes in for the side. Goes for the Primal Roar onto the Mirana, thinking they have the Burst Damage to be able to ring him down. And they are right. With the Chain Frost and the uh, Chains, it is just enough. Crit's going to be able to get himself out, though. You think he really regrets it? I think he's alright with that. Because now he can oh, do the pop-up surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With oh, the Ultimate Fanatic so cool. coming in. Here we <laughs> go. The Invis. The Invis initiation. Here it comes. They've already got the hop onto crit. They're going to be able to finish off the two supports almost immediately. Reaper Sight is going to be able to bring down the Bane. Well, crit managed to walk away with just a little bit of HP, but Excalibur is going to be able to chase him down with the Remnant. Back over oh, to his own cores now of EG. It bounces back onto Samael. He's dangerously low, but the rest of Fnatic are not really feeling up for the chase. They don't really have the lockdown anymore. But Ohio, he pops back out with his Shadow Blade. Goes for the Primal Roar, but the Lone Druid, nice use the bear. Fnatic, they're smoked up, and this is how you create opportunities because now somebody has to go shove out bottom, and this is your opportunity to kill Universe. The arrow's coming through, and they already have the force staff to get Universe out of that cog. Oh, this and is now gonna be through. Oh no, with the ice path, this is looking terrible for Fnatic. The primal round turn around onto Samael is gonna slow up some of the damage, but it's not gonna be enough to save either one of the supports. But maybe Ohio himself can get out. He's trying to get to the trees, but there it is. The fuse of blade from Samael will slow him down. Get the extra core kill, 8-8. Eight to eight. Ohio, he's trying to use they the Shadow Blade to go for the pickups. Oh, this is really cool. Look at this. The Hawk with the Boots of Travel play. I love this play from Fnatic. Very cool. As long as they actually get the kill. What? As long as they actually get the kill. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Gets oh, no. It gets so much worse. No. No, Ohio's Fnatic. dead. Oh, Fnatic, you make me look so foolish now. That was such a cool play, <laughs> but the execution... Going to be able to do a pretty decent job juking all of this as long as he stays out of range of Purge. Meanwhile, in mid lane, ooh, Fear's going to get gone on here. Turns around, goes to the Fiend's Grip on top of the bear, but a Kong's pushback gets him over the cliff. It may have stopped the Fiend's Grip. Ah, the Eternal Envy's still going to get the kill. Look at him, he's instantly TPing back. He does not want to be here anymore. He thinks this fight is no good. Fnatic are going to be able to bring down the bear as well. Charge coming on through, crit. On the back line, he knows oh, that Ohio's there. But he's there's an arrow to follow up. Tier three. Is he really going to follow this one up? Arrow. arrow. Oh, no, it deals a creep. The creep bodyguard dies in front of the arrow, saving Ohio's yeah. life only momentarily, though. Samael still managed to get the kill. It looks like uh, they may have caught a lich here on the secret shop area, but Highlight Eye is going to be... Oh, no. Can't go for the TP. Yule Scepter is going to be able to stop that. That's going to be a freebie. And that's exactly they just what have they're to doing. Force something, right? Yes. They have to try and get Fnatic while they're in a sort of four versus five scenario, but they do have the remnants to be able to jump. They're going to try and initiate Where's onto the, the Necrophos. See if they can actually pick him down real quickly. The chain of disables, but he managed to get the Ghost Shroud and the heal. Oh, it's a Beats really nice chain frost. The chain frost about to between the two supports, demolishing them, but a big hit from Samael comes in with a nuke. Is able to bring down two. They also got the Necrophos, but he immediately buys back. They are fully set on winning this fight, and it looks like Excalibur might be able to do it for them. If he can actually catch up this hero, but no, he's been grown up and he can't be saved there's too much disable and he can't do anything about that eternal levy oh, and he, he may have gotten a, a kill on jakiro sure but he no longer has the reaper sight to turn against these two so he will die as well they bought back for that and they actually group the other four up and they're gonna go for a pickoff here see if they can smoke and catch somebody from eternal levy. and looks like they caught him too with the sleep setup dj is gonna be the one top of the smoke and it looks like they've also got the beastmaster here crit made sure to track him down is just looking to be able to stable him up long enough that they can actually make sure he doesn't tp away shadow blade is up they have the catavision though there goes the dust and ohio will be the second person caught really great rotation by eg well set up very nice kills they're under ward vision though they're gonna get that taken care of as sumail Oh, they don't have Fiend's vision there, though. Grip. They're just going to lay into the Ember Spear, bring him down real quickly. There's no saves from Fnatic. And now they're going to be able to get the arrow onto Eternal Envy as well. No buybacks between the two of them. So EG 
Their stairs cleaned up. Nothing Fnatic can do without Biofix. So they call it game number one. Evil Geniuses, and it's by margin as well. They have this game under control from the get. Yeah, there wasn't really a point in this game that I think they felt uncomfortable. Fnatic are on death row right now. They need to win this one. Uh, ben was also pointing out that Troll feels very countered by both the uh, Death Prophet as well as the Beastmaster. Dazzle uh, is really what? nice, by the way, against Apparently Universe Wyvern. just... Okay, he just gets a free for... Is this, is this, is he creating space? And they're gonna go for the lane swap once again, which they need to do. They need to make sure that this Enchantress isn't one-on-one, -on -one, especially since uh, everyone who's showing up bottom lane just keeps on dying. There's no shame in it. Universe already on a killing spree, and they might want to swap again as soon as they can. As oh, admit, this nice is a very kick. nice kill. They managed to get the stun. Samael is not gonna make it out of here alive. Two to three. No TP on him, so it looks like they're okay with this. I don't know if they should be. Maybe if they get a kill here. They got a Die. troll I'll coming scan. back into this lane, so they can go ahead and bring three heroes to this one. Eternal Levy outside go. of his webs. He's not going to make it out of here. They need a bash, though, to be able to stop Ooh. the TP. Oh, they didn't even need the bash. This is his first pro game. Wow, I can't see him. Arteezy in some big trouble, has to throw out the Whirling Axes to defend himself against all this physical damage. Nice cut through the trees there. An early shortcut. The tier one tower, Ohio's gonna be dove at bottom lane. Great hoping to be able to help out Universe. Ohio tries to go for the roar, unable to do so. Just, he puts himself right next to Universe to try and limit the impetus damage, but it's not enough. Lambie misses out on the kills, misses out a lot of farming time. Ooh, this is going to be a cool setup here. Ohio managed to get the roar onto Universe, but they don't have a fall of Disable until DJ gets his TP in, managed to get the kick, stops that out. And if they grab Arteezy with this, I think they'd be really happy as Excalibur is going to spot him first, slow him down. Now the roll going to miss from DJ. That's okay, though. He's not this done. And uh, he won't be able to TP out or anything. Like that. And I like the no fact rebuttal. DJ held on to that stun just a little bit. Just in case of a TP or something? Yeah, just in It also, the cool thing about it too is Dyer's if you think the Wyvern's behind it, your positioning so it hits the angle. Yeah. So it clears everything. Dyer's I saw that uh, has fallen. a couple times. Spirit. Universe! Same place! Oh no. Different time. That was a game of inches is instead it's going to be fanatic reminiscent of last game this time they're going to be the ones five manning for this tier two and i like this a lot now fear is going to get a really good winter's first to give them a free kill and oh we missed out on all that spidling damage it could have been a nice little pick me up of gold as well end all late game oh another great winter's curse what the broodlings i killed you with coldness Kills him so fast. This so he's big here to defend, but can he actually do it? Quite a commitment for the tower, both sides. They really want to defend. They force Excalibur to pop this exorcism. Thought this was going to be a free tower. Fnatic are pretty scared here, but they might just run into crit. Got the vision down. Oh no, they've got the counter vision. They're going to be able to catch Ohio as he tried to TP out of this oh, one. More. Fnatic, Rixx is going to picked off one by one. Excalibur is going to be able to complete his TP, but Pylai die. He's not making it out of here. Good alive. luck, Pai. Great TP. <laughs> Five more seconds spot. This truly is the perfect hero when Pylai die. And Death Prophet's cooldown, one of the highest in the game. Now they're going to make their move on to Envy. Oh, Eternal Envy, you cannot be dying like this. Your team just walked away from a team fight. But meanwhile, at bottom, they're going to be able to catch Arteezy. Okay, now this is a fair trade off if they can kill him twice. They're going to be able to. He is yeah. in no man's land right now. The courier goes down. Too. Oh, that was a courier coming in with the BKB. Maybe if he got that BKB, he could have gotten out, but no such luck. 7 11. They're telling themselves exorcisms on CD. Let's go wherever we want. And a big smoke here. A All five heroes scan, here. But it's going to run into a whole bunch of heroes. And Ohio's already been silenced up. He's not going to be able to get that initiation. He gets blown up by RTZ. Excalibur jumps to the back line, but immediately he gets Winters cursed up. The universe is trying to get himself some distance away from Excalibur. And it looks like he was successful there. While RTZ goes ahead and mans up against anybody who manages to get his hands on. Excalibur is being dealt with by Universe right now at a distance because Excalibur can move, but now the rupture's gone. So he's able to blink onto Universe and be able to bring him down. While Samael, he's being gobbled up by the Eternal MB Broodmother. 
The Broodmother is in play now, and Evil Geniuses thought they were going to be able to win that team fight, but it looks like the BKB pickups managed to let Fnatic not only win that engage, but but also push for high ground here. Turn around, Yule Scepter, kick. Excalibur, he's kind of in an awkward position. That was not the greatest kick. And put him in that dead man's land where he was kind of in a situation where he couldn't really go left or right. No bash, no bash, no bash, no bash. Didn't matter, he had a solid break to that. Dazzle is going to be caught by crit as well. DJ, no, just leave Pylite dead. That's his role. Pylite is supposed to die. Just leave him. Dude, he's going to live. Get him Shallow out of there. Grave. Shrine being used too. They're doing everything they can. <laughs> Dead is Dazzle I've seen in my life. For EG side anyways as Fnatic, they're going to have to do some outplays here. He's trying to kill the creep wave before he gets up to the tower, but it just results in him dying in front of the tower. And now Fnatic have to defend four versus five with the racks being beaten on and RTZ takes it so damn quickly. EG, they're very easily going to be able to get the first set of racks here in this game. The Eternal Epic jumps forward though. Managed to bring down RTZ with ease with the minus armor there and take it away to Mail. He might be able to kill some Mail though, but he pops the cheese and the Cold Brace goes down as well. Eternal Epic no longer having the BKB. They get caught here. The Primal World goes down. They try and give him the Shallow Grave. He goes for an easy kill on a crate. He knows he's not making out of your life. He just wants it to result and some kills somehow. They want the easy win right now. If somebody comes outside their base, they want to just grab oh, somebody. Oh, it could be Excalibur. Caught on the low ground, does get ruptured. Yule Scepter is going to be Doesn't straight to the blood right. Doesn't have BKB or buyback. So EG oh, no. may have just found themselves a win. There is a tier two at top lane. So EG are going to have to just go for two lanes of rags and back up, or they're going to have to go straight for throw. And without any vision on the map, Fnatic they had to play a little bit more carefully there. Yeah. This is a play that a lot of teams will make to just try to see if we catch somebody, we'll immediately go high ground again, making their way over. This last clash might just determine it. Towers. We need to be able to fight this one. Rupture already on the eternal enemy. He's actually taking so much damage from RTZ right now, but turns around, gets bashed up. He couldn't get the life steal out. He's Scalper getting as many spirit siphons out, but still RTZ and some mail laying into the Death Prophet are going to be able to bring him down. Both cores dead with no buyback. Fnatic, there is no way out of this one. Eternal enemy will call it for the team. The evil geniuses as they move further. They will break down Fnatic in 2 0. That is such a disappointing way, I think, for a Fnatic to go out.